our memories degrade with time, and if we don't consistently apply the abilities we've been taught, we eventually lose the ability to use them at all. But that doesn't just apply to one particular person. That holds true for the entire human race. There is a lot of proof that our forefathers have talents and capabilities that we lack now. And this video has all the evidence you possibly need to show that there are several remarkable ancient technologies that we can't explain today. Make sure to like and subscribe, and let's get started. The Granite Sarcophagus Many people who have examined the magnificent Egyptian artwork and monuments of antiquity have this question in mind. How could they slash through large hefty rocks and stones like butter, just like we do? with the same apparent ease as we do today. We are urged to believe that the ancient Egyptians built magnificent monuments with nothing more sophisticated than simple hand tools. However, even the biggest construction companies in the world would find it difficult to recreate them. The most obvious example is the sarcophagus in the king's chamber of the Great Pyramid of Giza. But why have we never discussed any modern remnants of the ancient Egyptian stone cutting technology? What happened to it? Traditional Water Tunnels Kanats in Iran An astounding discovery of a man-built water system that is more than 5,000 years old was made by a team of archaeologists investigating the historical site of Faraj in Iran's Seymar Dam Reservoir in the middle of 2014. The location has a history as a dam, but nobody had any idea that it sat exactly on top of a far more ancient river. And yet, the pipes of that river are still there for all to see. Surely, we shouldn't be so surprised. Before the Romans, the ancient Persians were experts at constructing canals and aqueducts. It is an incredible system of pipes linking a tiny pool to the site of a historic settlement across a great distance. Archaeologists' primary challenge is a race against time to unearth the entire pipeline before the old system is permanently submerged. The Beautiful Ruins of Inca The Tipon Inca site is incredibly gorgeous. It's so stunning that you might just take a step back and take it all in rather than stop considering how it was created. But we are asking you to ponder that right now how a man-made irrigated garden was planned and built. Although it has a beautiful appearance, its structure serves a functional purpose. Dr. Luis Antonio Pardo, a historian from Peru, is one of those who believe it might not be an Inca creation. He thinks it's been abandoned by an even older, vanished civilization, which the Inca people discovered and used. It is believed that this was a large-scale agricultural laboratory because of the pond's shape and the variety of wet and dry levels it contains. However, creating it took extremely advanced hydraulics understanding, and we have no idea where it could have originated. The Egyptian Blue Ancient Egypt was the birthplace of an entirely new color a little over 4,000 years ago. It was created to embellish a crown on a well-known bust of Nefertiti, and now we refer to it as Egyptian blue. There is much more to this pigment than just a nice color though. We have no way of knowing whether the chemists who developed it were conscious of what they were doing at the time. This vivid blue shade can lower energy usage and increase solar energy output if used properly. Early in 2020, a German research team produced new nano sheets using Egyptian blue for infrared imaging. The mystery of the ever burning lamps. Our next technological innovation might sound a little far-fetched, but it has been discussed in so many different contexts that it needs further investigation. It is the enigma of lamps that never go out. There are legends of tombs that held lamps that were still glowing when they were found and opened thousands of years after they had been sealed, despite the fact that no source of light other than the sun should burn endlessly. Similar lamps have been documented in the Temple of Ad Urban in Armenia and the Temple of Apollo Carnegie. Reasons could be that our forefathers discovered a technique to keep a flame alive indefinitely. 
or all of these lights have been connected to natural gas sources inside rocks. The signing machine. When do you think the first functional robot was created? Here is a mechanical structure of a little child that can write independently. It was built about 250 years ago. The statue, created by French watchmaker Pierre Jacquet Dros, can produce various phrases and sentences by swapping out some of its 40 anterior cameras. This effectively indicates that the robot can be programmed. It has more than 6,000 components inside its elaborate interior. He completed the automation's construction in 1770, and his demonstrations of its capabilities astounded audiences across France. This is regarded as the earliest instance of automatic writing in human history. The Dujiangian Irrigation System We were awestruck by a prehistoric Persian water system at the very beginning of this video. Here is another old Chinese creation that may be even more remarkable. The oldest free irrigation system in the history of mankind is called Dujiangian. Its design is so flawless that it still is in service in the Sichuan province. Li Bing, a genius architect, was in charge of its construction. Li Bing had discovered that the Minjiang River flooded so frequently. He carved pipes directly through Mount Yu Li to reroute the water to the Chengdu aircraft to solve the issue. Eight years were needed to dig through the mountain, but that time falls short compared to the two millennia that his effort has lasted. He truly had a vision. Yaknal Ancient Refrigeration Put your food in the refrigerator or freezer if it's hot outside and you don't want it to spoil. You might be curious how people preserved their food in the past without electricity, given that today's technologies depend on energy. We can tell you, so stop wondering. This is Yakal. This is another incredible example of ancient Persian engineering, dating back more than 2,400 years. You get ice bed when you translate the name Yakal into English, clearly indicating how these structures function. Each Yakal was constructed to a height of roughly 60 feet, and then water from neighboring pools, springs, and reservoirs were used to fill them. The water inside the Yakal was chilled by wind catchers, which caused the water to freeze. Whatever was within became frozen. The Anatomical Machines of San Severo Before moving on to our last piece of tech, I'll give you a heads up that it's a little nasty. Two objects strangely known as anatomical machines are found deep in the crypt beneath the chapel of Capella San Severo in Naples, Italy. That's a polite way of saying that there are two human beings whose entire circulatory systems have been fully preserved for more than 200 years. We own their existence to Raimondo di Sangro, the former prince of San Severo. At the time, he was an oddball noted for his fascination with mysticism and science. His bone sculptures are still on display for all to see and still have all of their veins. The bodies also have muscles and arteries. Nobody is aware of how the veins were preserved, and if that's accurate, this is one of the first ever functional examples of plastination. There we have it. I hope you enjoyed and if you want to see more of this, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and click on the notification button to be notified every time we post a new video. Thank you for watching and see you on my next one. Bye!